Hello and welcome to the University of Ottawa Mars Rover Team 2022 Systems Acceptance Review. Our team is composed of 18 passionate students, ranging from all different fields of science and engineering. This year, we tested and improved various systems from our rover, such as the chassis and the suspension, and we built from scratch a new robotic arm. Now, why did we spend six months designing and building a prototype Mars rover? Why do humans build rovers at all? For science. Our rover's life detection module consists of a vacuum chamber to get a soil sample via an extended tube and delivers the samples in our attaining unit. Each set of beakers holds a mixture of reactants such as DMSO and bleach and also distilled water. The soil samples are delivered to the beakers and then incorporated to the mixture thanks to our rotary system. The presence of soil organic matter is detected by a reaction with bleach that produces bubbles. When it comes to measuring the macroorganism activity, that is made possible by evaluating the increase in temperature of the DMSO that reduces to DMS. For the rock samples, they are analyzed through our cameras that we place in front of the rover. The raw data is then collected by our temperature sensors and the cameras and is sent back to the base station. Our communication setup is powered by two 900 MHz radios for stable communication that doesn't require line of sight. Our rover systems are driven by the Robot Operating System, also known as ROS, and it runs on a Raspberry Pi, which is situated on our rover. This means that our software is designed modularly in nodes and makes it much easier to maintain. Our drive system is also powered by the same Pi, and we can drive the rover using a gamepad. We've decided to put much more focus in making sure our foundational systems are really, really solid at the expense of some of our autonomous capabilities. As such, our current plans for the rover's autonomous systems involve feeding our localiz localization info from the Kalman filter into our tab map with data from our RealSense stereo camera. Then using this information, along with our system that reads our UCO tags, to determine our path and drive it autonomously. Our Kalman filter is fed from our GPS and our IMU to determine a much more stable position. This positioning info is used for our autonomous missions along with our extreme retrieval mission. To retrieve objects, our new robotic arm utilizes two linear actuators and four stepper motors to provide our arm five degrees of freedom. This year's design allows the arm to perform dexterous tasks for equipment servicing. A belt drive system is located at the base of the arm, which allows our arm to perform in high torque applications while providing 360 degrees of rotation. Two linear actuators are mounted at the back of the arm to optimize the range of motion. Our compliant end effector, which mainly consists of 3D printed carbon fiber infused nylon, uses a warm gear mechanism to control the movement of three fingers. This mechanism allows the end effector to pick up objects with simple or complex geometry. By fully closing the end effector, buttons can be pressed with high precision by using the tip of the fingers. In addition, our end effector offers overdrive protection and ensures we grip objects with the same force every time. The arm operates as an open loop system using a joystick and input video feed. This enables us to have precise movement and operation based on the intuition of the operator. The robotic arm is supported by an 8020 extruded aluminum frame, distributing the loads throughout the chassis and onto the suspension. Our suspension is made from carbon fiber tubes and 3D printed connectors made out of carbon fiber infused nylon. This allows us to minimize the weight of the chassis while maximizing strength. Like all successful Mars rovers, our system uses a six wheel rocker bogey suspension, maximizing stability over difficult terrain by always ensuring six points of contact with the ground. Our drivetrain allows for smooth traversal over obstacles while maintaining one meter per second speed. This allows completion of navigation and time challenges in a, in a timely manner. Our iconic orange wheels are manufactured from casting polyurethane in a 3D printed mold, meeting our specifications for weight, traction, and durability. This summer, we had the opportunity to test our rover at the Canadian Space Agency's Mars Yard, simulating the challenging Mars-like terrain we will face at the competition. Our testing proves we are ready for the University Rover Challenge. On behalf of the entire UR Rover team, thank you for your consideration and we hope to see you soon.